Welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name's Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. Today I'm showing you some of my newly made fire starters. What this is, one fourth of a piece of a paper towel, dipped in wax, let to cool down, then rolled up, and then dipped in wax one more time. It's 100% waterproof, and we'll see how it goes. I think what we'll do first is we'll see if we can see if we can unroll it first. See how that goes. Yeah, yeah, we can probably unroll it. So I'm just gonna unroll it. It's already nice and crinkly. You can cut this in half too and not use the whole thing. But if you're to the point where you're going to use a fire starter because you're having problems or it's important, you're better off just to take the whole thing. And I'm just going to crumple the pieces up a little bit. Then I would, I would have my tinder already on top of that, my kindling on top of that, and my wood on top of that. And I'd have it on a double bridge. I'd have two bridges and I'd have that all on top and I'd have this underneath to get it going. The other thing I'd have with this right here is something that I always carry with me in my bag would be some extra cotton balls. That way then when I could fluff this up and put that underneath here like that, that's going to take for sure. But I'm going I'm to start this one here first on its own. Just for the fun, I'll show you how, how good it is. I've just got a Nathan 4071 ferro rod and a pair of scissors for a striker. What you usually have to do is to melt the wax off of the paper a little bit for it to start. There she's starting right there. That's a pretty good fire starter. I would imagine it's going to burn for quite a while. I'm guessing anywhere between four and six minutes. But you would already have your tinder, you know, stuff like, you know, your grass and stuff on top of that, twigs on top of that, a little bigger wood and then fire on top of that. So it'll all get the benefit of that first flame. And I guarantee you, you'll have a fire. The whole secret to a fire is preparation though, you know that. Get all your stuff ready to go. I build my fires completely before I start. And I, I use a double bridge method. Two logs in the ground, some real thin sticks across the top. I put my tinder, my tinder on top of that, then my, my kindling, then my firewood, make it up into a nice pyramid over the top of that the bridge. Then I put something like this or whatever I'm gonna start my fire with underneath there, slide it in and it takes off every time 100%. I, I don't think I've ever had a, a double bridge fire fail on me. And point that double bridge, the opening a double bridge, if you have a light breeze, have it pointing towards the breeze. And uh, it's just like a chimney. It'll take right off for you. That's a good looking fire though, isn't it guys? You can always stir it up a little bit, it gets it going even better. That's a wicked little fire there, guys. That's just one-fourth of a piece of paper towel dipped in wax, rolled up, dipped in wax again to keep it, make sure it's 100% waterproof. And you just saw me crumple it up, tear it up a little bit, a couple sparks, boom, you got a fire. That's cranking, guys. So hashtag 22 a day no more. Go out and have some fun. Watch your six really close. Don't take things for granted, guys. Appreciate the things you have and the people around you. Thanks so much for watching and be safe, guys. <laughs>